Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to deposit money into your Deriv account in Zimbabwe. So basically, if you're from Zimbabwe and you want to go ahead and deposit money into your Deriv account, the first step is that you want to log in into your Deriv account and you can actually do that using your email address and your password that you use to create your Deriv account. And once you log in into your Deriv account, you're going to be taken on the screen that you're seeing right now, which is on the Traders Hub. And basically what you need to do is that you want to go ahead and click on cashier, which is actually on the upper right hand corner right here. So click on there. And basically this is going to take you to your cashier and right here on the cashier site, this is where you can see different methods that you can use to deposit into your Deriv account. So if you click on the first options that are at the top right here, just click on right there. This is going to take you to this page where you can assess different types of methods that you can use to deposit. You can see we have stick pay, which is actually a, a e wallet. We also have cryptocurrencies. If you continue to scroll right here, you can see we have another payment method, which is called airtime. We have uh, uh, visa cards and many more that you can assess right here. So you can actually assess uh, these payment methods by group. Ten, for example, let's say you want to assess uh, cards, you can click on cards right here. And basically, if you tap right here on credit and debit cards, this is going to take you to this section right here where you can deposit into your account using uh, different cards. So if you are from Zimbabwe, the best option, it can be the FBC bank. I don't know of EcoCash uh, MasterCard as well. So you can actually check on that one. But FBC bank is the best if you want to deposit using your MasterCard. So you can check on FBC Bank. And if you actually come back right here and then you go right here on crypto, uh, you can actually see different cryptocurrencies that you can use to deposit into your account if you are from Zimbabwe. So basically uh, nowadays in Zimbabwe, we have payment agents and basically some other payment agents, they can deposit straight into your account. I'm going to talk about that. But if you want to deposit using Bitcoin, you can actually buy Bitcoin from those payment agents as well. And basically, you can uh, now deposit into your Deriv account using cryptocurrency, which is actually one of the best methods that you can use. And I would recommend that you can use USDT or Bitcoin. And the other method that you can use in Zimbabwe to deposit is actually peer-to-peer. -peer. So you can come right here on your cashier and basically click right here on peer-to-peer. So if you come right here on Deriv peer-to-peer, -peer, you can actually buy Deriv peer-to-peer -peer from other traders that have dollars in their accounts. So what you just need to do is that you can come right here on the buy section and basically look at the favorable rates that you are interested on and basically click on buy like this. And basically what you just need to do is that you can come right here on the profile of the seller and basically read the instructions right here of which payment of method is actually accepting and basically if you have the payment method that this guy is actually requiring you just need to go ahead and click right here to actually type the amount that you want to buy from him so let's say you want to buy hundred dollars of peer-to-peer -peer from this guy right here and basically you're going to see an error because he doesn't have hundred dollars so I think he has maximum of $10. So let's say you want to buy $10 from this guy. It means that the money that you're seeing down right here that he's saying you send uh, $10.20. This is the amount that you're going to send to this guy. So you can send to him using Eagle Cash. And basically this guy will actually release $10 into your account right here. You're going to see it, the balance appearing at the top right here. And basically, uh, that's how you can actually do the transaction and basically deposit using peer-to-peer. -peer. So basically, guys, that's how you can actually deposit into your Deriv account if you're actually in Zimbabwe. So you can go ahead and actually try out these methods.